Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Start your day off right with your motivational pal, Mr. C. Mr. C teaches meaningful words to help kids of all ages succeed. Welcome to Mornings with Mr. C. This episode is on the word teamwork. In my life, I've worked on a lot of group projects. Some of those projects were with my best friends. Other times, it was with people that I barely knew. But my best experiences were where everyone pitched in and we worked as a team. Let's go into depth about what that word teamwork actually means. Teamwork means everyone tries hard and everybody contributes. Whoa! Teamwork! Teamwork is families working together! And now a word from the Word Warrior. The word teamwork means that you are working with a group of people collaboratively. People that exhibit good teamwork listen to the ideas of others and share ideas themselves. When you work in a group or are part of a team, try to be a good teammate. If you've ever played in a sports team, you're probably very familiar with the concept of teamwork. In most sports, it's not just up to one person. It's up to the job of the team to succeed. Tennis is a sport that can be played individually or with a teammate. Let's talk about some good characteristics of what teammates have. We can learn about teamwork through the word set, just like tennis has sets in it. The S stands for sportsmanship. Win or lose if you treat your teammates and your opponents with respect, people are gonna wanna play with you again. Hey, great game. Anytime, man. <laughs> Sounds good. Pouting, complaining when you lose, or calling the other team a bunch of cheaters are all examples of bad sportsmanship, and people are not gonna wanna play with you again. The E in set stands for encouragement. If you encourage your teammates to do their best, they're gonna wanna play with you time and time again. Oh. Oh. All right, man. Good try. Yeah, next time. The T in set stands for talking. Talk to your teammates before the game and during a game. Let them know if you have a better chance at getting a ball than they do. Talking is a great part of being an outstanding teammate. Oh, I got it. The next time that you are part of a team, remember these key words, sportsmanship, encouragement, and talking. Being a part of a team has its challenges, but remember that good teammates share responsibilities and don't do it all themselves. Some people want to be the star of the show so badly that they don't even realize how their behavior affects others. We're now going to meet Ball Hog Barry, who needs to learn a bit more about teamwork. Hey kids, let me introduce you to a real champion, myself. My name is Ball Hog Barry, and my song goes something like this. I'm Ball Hog Barry, b-ball's my sport, I'm an MVP, and this is my court. Teammates, that ain't for me. Watch me shine as I shoot for three. Hey Barry, pass me the ball so I can play. I don't think so, man, just not today. be coached because this is my game I take every shot so you know my name just a reminder my name is Barry 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 I'm a superstar when I get in the zone but if you play like me you wind up alone hey mom can you pick me up at the park no one wants to play with me again well, I sang a little bit of the song. Yeah, it didn't go over too well. It's sad how Barry chose not to be a team player. But maybe 
One of these days he will come around. Coaches and teachers are in charge of setting the tone for teamwork and showing you what it looks like. But every time you work in a group, there's not referees that pop out and say good or bad. It's up to you to be respectful and responsible in the groups that you are working in. We can learn more about teamwork through three very powerful terms. A log, a hog, and a frog. <laughs> Yo, what's up? I'm a log. I'll be here with my phone chilling while everyone else does the work. Just let me know when it's done so I get credit for it too. Peace. Yo, I hope you're ready to take orders because I am a hog. I make all the big decisions. I'm the big shot in this group. Whatever I say goes, and that's how it's gonna be, cause I'm in charge. Hello, and how may I help you? For I am a frog. I jump in and help out as needed, but I do not try to take over the group. Whenever help is needed, you can count on me to hop in. Out of the three examples shown, the frog is the one that we should try to be the most like. Jumping in and helping with any task that needs to be done is what good teammates do. Team members that act like logs hurt the team by not helping out. Hogs hurt the team by taking over everything, which can cause other members to feel unwelcomed and unwanted. In any teamwork situation, having a positive attitude and a willingness to help goes a long way. And now it's time for a quick workout with your pal, with the awesome hair, Fitness Phil. All right, thanks so much for that rad introduction. And let's get started with our exercise. Find a safe spot where you can gently jog in place and shake out your arms a little bit. What we're doing today is called the Teamwork Twist. If you hear a situation that shows awesome teamwork, you're gonna do the teamwork twist. But if you hear a situation that doesn't show good teamwork, you're gonna do a couple things too. If you hear a situation where someone is being a log, you're gonna freeze and stand like a big log and do nothing for two seconds because that's what logs do. But if you hear a situation of someone being a hog and taking over the group, what you're gonna do is make your best hog sound. Something like this. All right, are you ready to get started? Let's go. Working together. Sharing responsibilities. Being lazy. Bossing people around. Talking to your teammates. Encouraging others. Doing everything yourself. Not offering to help. Having good sportsmanship. Being supportive. All right, guys. Awesome job on the teamwork twist today. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Remember, good teammates can be leaders, contributors, or people who just jump right in and help no matter what the task. Demonstrating true teamwork means that the job gets done and everyone gets treated with respect. I hope that you're a pro now on telling people what the word teamwork really means. Now get out there and be a good teammate. For today's morning meeting, share one way of how you plan to be a fantastic teammate. You can share it in a small group setting, write it in a journal, draw a picture, or whatever your teacher or parent feels is best. Okay, okay, I'll tell them, Mom. I will do it right now. My mom wants me to remind you all to be good teammates. 
See you next time.